a couple of weeks ago I started filming a new series for this channel. It's going to be a budget photography channel. Um, so every Wednesday I'm going to release a video all about uh, budget photography. Um, so I'm going to be doing lots of things. So in this episode I am going to be doing steel wool uh, tutorial kind of video. But on a budget you don't need any fancy equipment. Now I did start filming this um, a couple of weeks ago. But I had a bit of a problem. I should take it. There. I went out and I bought some steel wool. It's the sort of stuff you find in uh, Sainsbury's and Tesco for washing up. It's got a bit of soap on there already, but the problem I had was it wouldn't light. It was too wet, it was too damp. I've even dried it out now to see if it works. So, I'm gonna uh, give it another quick go. You can see it's just not staying lit. So I, what I need is steel wool like that to stay lit. So I'm gonna pop down to B and Q now, and I'm gonna go and buy some steel wool. All right, let me just uh, backtrack a little bit, but, but uh, just explain what I'm actually doing. Uh, so, like I said, every Wednesday I'm gonna be uploading videos about budget photography. So basically, what that means is. Um, I'm gonna set myself a challenge. I'm gonna go out and do that challenge. But what I'm not gonna do, I'm not gonna use like really expensive equipment. Uh, I've got a Canon 60D. I'll, I'll do another video about all my equipment. Um, I don't buy like equipment thousand pound. I've got a thousand pound camera. You know, I got affordable equipment which anybody could buy. Um, some of these challenges you can even do with a compact camera or a mobile phone. So basically, that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, so today's video is going to be all about steel wall photography. So it's going to be like nighttime photography. You're going to wait till it gets dark and I get some steel wall. You light steel wall, it burns very slowly and it also falls apart and you got a little, uh, anyway, yeah, falls apart. Uh, you put that inside a whisk on an end of a rope, you light it, light the uh, wall on fire, spin it around and you've got sparks flying everywhere. And the idea is uh, you do a long exposure and you get some nice uh, streaks of uh, sparks going everywhere. So I'm just going to go into B&Q now and buy the uh, steel wool. i actually got no idea where to find the steel wool. I'm just walking down the aisles trying to find it. There we go, got the steel wall. It's the only steel wall I could find in uh, B and Q. Uh, it is medium grade. The finer the grade, the better. But I could only find that one, so I'm gonna go home now and uh, try it out. Now let's try it out. Let's get the lighter and hope for the best. It works. It's burning, which is fine. Good sign, it's good. I like that. I like this burning a bit now. A bit more. There we go. Look at that. Oh, nice. Much better now. I think this is going to work. Good news. Okay, so now we're happy that the, the steel wall works. I'm going to talk through the equipment uh, I'll be using to make this uh, picture tonight. So the main thing I'm going to be using, obviously, is my Canon DSLR. It's so a Canon 60D, and on it I got the EFS 17 to 55 um, ultrasonic lens on there. And because I'm going out on my own to do this, and it's always a good idea to use one of these when you're out shooting anyway. It's my Monfoto Action Tripod. Um, I'll be using this. I'll be out on my own, and if you need long exposures, you need to keep the uh, the camera nice and steady. If you haven't got a tripod, that's fine. 
uh, whenever you go shooting, try and find somewhere you can put the camera on, something to just keep really, really still. The other thing I got for this shoot is a whisk, and this is where we're going to be putting the uh, steel wool. We're putting the steel wool inside there, and attached to that, I've got the rope. So you need a nice long rope. So what I'm going to be doing is putting the steel wool in there and swinging it around like that while it's on fire. So you can see then the sparks will fly everywhere. Uh, the other thing that really helps you with this video, especially if you're on your own, um, you're going to be using a shutter release. Plug that into the camera, you've got a button there, you can uh, trigger the camera without touching the camera itself. So I'll plug that in, set a 10 second timer, there's enough time for me to get into position. I'm going to press that and just leave it, so don't shape the camera at all, get into position and it's going to take. Um, Obviously, if you're going to play with fire, you're going to need uh, some, an ignition source. I'm going to be using uh, this lighter here. And the steel wool I just bought, as you know, from B&Q. Um, yeah, that's the equipment I'm going to be using. This uh, photography tutorial, you could probably use um, a digital uh, compact camera. It doesn't have to be an SLR camera, um, depending on the settings. If you've got night mode on your, um, your only compact camera, the night mode might give you an exposure of about four, five, six, or maybe up to eight seconds long. So just play around with that. It might work with that. Um, yeah, so what I'm going to do now is wait for the sun to go down, wait for it to get a bit darker, and then we'll head up the common in um, Ponte Pri to see if we can do anything up there. So this is my uh, location for the uh, photo shoot. Um, at the common in uh, Pont de Prix. Uh, this is known as the rocking stone. Uh, you can stand on there, you can jump on it, and then sometimes, sometimes, depends how clear it is, and uh, you can feel it rocking. Uh, so that's going to be my focus point for the shoot. Right, so that's my camera all set up. I'm ready to uh, do the shoot, but I still got to wait for the sun to go down. But it's already gone down, I'm just waiting for it to get a bit darker so I can take the shot. So my camera settings are, if I can get to focus, there we go. Ignore the timer for now, I'll adjust that when it gets darker. I got F22, I got ISO uh, 100 as well. Um, so, yeah, I'm just all set up now, waiting to go. And just behind me there, um, I don't know who they are, but um, they're filming something. I think it's a news reporter, I'm not sure. I might have got that completely wrong, but I'll try and find out. So, basically, what I'm going to do is get the whisk now and the steel wool, break off a bit of steel wool and put that inside the whisk just like this and all it's left to do now is just to light this and then start swinging it on that rock over there and hopefully i'll get the shot i'm looking for right we just about lost enough light um so i'm gonna give this a go now so i'm gonna give this a uh, shot a go i'm gonna light the wall on fire and i'm gonna run and jump up onto that rock back there and uh, just hope for the best let's see how it goes Right, so I think that went all right. I got some nice shots there, but the problem I got is the contrast down here and the sky is quite big. So it's really bright sky and I got dark down here. So the image, I don't know how it's going to turn out like. I'd rather the sky be quite dark as well, but it's quite bright for what I'm doing. So I might need to find another location where it's completely dark all around and it's look quite cool. Uh, when I just about to start doing this, uh, some local kids started playing on the rocks and they had my camera pointing at it. And yeah, I need to take some photos, so I thought I'd get them to help me. Save me pressing the timer on there, running up onto the rock, setting the thing on tire, on tire, on fire, and start spinning it. I might not have made it in time, so I got them to press the timer for me. So if you're watching this, thank you very much. You did an awesome job. Um, so yeah, I'm going to hang around a little bit longer, see if it gets any darker, and I might even try and find another location now. There we are. I'm back home now after that shoot. Um, I can't say I got a shot that I'm happy with uh, because, like I said, there's a dark ground and a bright sky. Um, but I did move on to a different location in the end. I went into a, a field which was just pitch black, it was just me in there. And there's no point filming, you won't be able to see anything anyway. Uh, I did get one shot in there, but I was struggling to get the, uh, the wall to actually stay lit. So I liked it, and then it just goes out to the time I start spinning it. So. I'm putting it down to it got quite cold and damp out, so I'm putting it down to that. I'm not going to give up, I will try again, 
but I'm just going to finish this video um, with some shots of what I got from tonight and yeah join me next time every Wednesday I'm gonna upload a, uh, a new photography video just like this one of a different topic it could be portrait pets uh, like nighttime uh, photography uh, high-speed photography and stuff like that so if you want to see more videos like this be sure to uh, subscribe to this video so you get to see this as soon as it comes out uh, give me a thumbs up and give me a comment or have you got any questions or if, if you want me to do cover another topic so yeah let me know and thanks for uh, you guys helped me out with a comment earlier I really really appreciate it thank you very much and I'll see you in the next video